Hello. Today we're going to make a multiple choice quiz using hot potatoes. And to do this you have to select J quiz. You're presented with a, a grid that you can fill in your answers and uh, any feedback. You can also select different types of multiple choice quiz from this little drop down at the side. We're going to stick with the standard format. First of all type in a title do my favourite, Capitals Quiz, and uh, your first question, and you, you use this rocker button here to move along to the second, the third, the fourth, however many questions you have. So we're on question one. We type in the question, what is the capital of Spain? And we then type in a selection of answers. So you can put in a variety of things here. We'll just put in some cities, and you can have as many options as you like. There are four showing. Um, but again, there's a rocker button here that lets you move along um, and increase the number of options available. I'm going to stick with just three answers, actually, and then um, the most important thing is to tell it which one is correct. We have a little tick box on the right-hand side here, and Madrid is the capital of Spain, so that's fine. I'm now going to move along to question two and type in the next question. So what is the capital of Russia? Again, you put in a selection of answers, so some wrong answers and some correct answers. And we'll have, uh, Moscow, and we'll have the correct answer marked. You can also put in feedback if you like, so you could say wrong, try again. well done you've got it correct but that's not essential once you've put in as many questions as you want you then save the quiz now you have to save it in two formats the first one is by clicking this little disk button and that saves it as a, a raw file a, a quiz file that you can get back into again if you wanted to add some more questions or to make any corrections so let's give that a name um, I've also created a, a folder just for the quiz files it's important to do that to keep all the quiz files together so capitals quiz and we'll call this master and we'll do save okay now the second way that you save it is as a web page and this is for the actual uh, the students or the people that are going to take the quiz when we click that again it's opened in the same folder it's assumed what the file name is going to be but we can change that we don't want to call it master this is our student version of the quiz and we click save we're now ready to view this quiz in our browser, so I'm going to click this button and up pops the quiz. You sometimes get um, the content being blocked by your internet browser. You get a pop-up message to that effect. If you do, just click allow the content and then the quiz will appear correctly. First question is showing. You could ask it to show you all the questions on the same page or the same screen, but one at a time is fine and you then use this little navigation arrow to move to question two. It's a case of selecting the answer that you think is correct. So let's say Madrid, we get a little smiley face, and yes, our answer is 100% correct. And we're ready to move along to the next question. Capital of Russia, let's get it wrong, let's choose Rome. And it says wrong, try again, that's the feedback that we put in for that. And we can now choose Moscow, and it's saying yes, well done, but it's only giving us a weighted score. We got it wrong the first time, so we're only getting 75%. Um, so that's our total score for this quiz, and that's us finished. That's how you create a very basic multiple choice quiz in Hot Potatoes.